Welcome to another episode of Talking with Docs. I'm Dr. Paul Zalzal. And I'm Dr. Brad Weening. What do we got here, Brad? So we have a uh, lady who is approximately 70 years old, has severe osteoarthritis of both of her knees and a significant varus deformity. As you can see on the right side, those are her preoperative x-rays. On the left side is her newer x-rays where we have actually replaced her left knee and made it straight. That does look straight. Now, this one looks uh, so bent that on the right side, it's not even fitting on the x-ray. It actually measures 35 degrees, which is very crooked and uh, introduces some specific uh, challenges for us as surgeons. Okay, let's talk about the plan. So the plan is going to be start the knee like a traditional total knee replacement. Um, the main challenges today are going to be the bone defect on the medial side as well as the stretched medial soft tissues. Okay, and we have a plan for that. If we have stretched medial soft tissues, we can release those to get the leg straight. And if we have a defect on the medial side, what can we use to fill that defect? So if it's really small, often we'll use just some cement. Mm -hmm. If the defect's a little bit bigger, we can add a screw. What do we do if a screw and some cement won't work, Paul? Well, if a screw and cement doesn't work, then we always have augments, metal augments that we can use that attach onto the actual knee replacement to fill in for where there's lost bone. And we'll deal with that kind of as it happens during the case. All right, let's get to it. Okay. Okay, Brad, here we are in the OR. Let's so show this, us what's going on. This is the other knee that we replaced approximately three months ago. You can see that it bends, completely straightens, and is stable. Looks good. Well healed incision. This is our navigation portal. And then on this side, you can see that she's actually quite crooked. Brings it up. And then in full extension, she has a significant wobble side to side and does not quite get all the way straight. So our goal is just to reproduce what we already did three months ago. All right, let's straighten Okay, so you can see we just got into the knee joint and on the medial or the inside, that's where the large defect exists. Typically, the tibial plateau would live up about here, but if you see where my forceps are going all the way down, it's much more than a centimeter deep. That'll be one of the challenges of this case. And that's why the leg goes bow-legged when she stands because there's no bone here to support it. All right, the total knee replacement is in place. You can see here the cement has built up that defect. Underneath that, there's a, a screw supporting the most medial aspect of the implant. You can see here's the tibial tray, the plastic, the femoral component, and the cement. And if you just watch closely, that leg that used to be crooked is now perfectly straight. Well done. All right. 